Yo, what's up guys? So, uh, been pretty busy lately, but I thought I'd just take some time today to cover uh, one of those flourishes I just think everybody should know. So in case you haven't seen the title, which would be weird, uh, today I'll be teaching you the thumb fan. So this is pretty much the basic fan that I suggest you learn before you go on to learn any other you know, type of smear fan or riffle fan or anything. Um, I think this is just an essential and it's a good foundation to get you started. Now it's one of those things that really isn't that hard but for some reason took me a long time to learn. Might just be me. But um, I thought I'd just you know, share a bit of what I know so hopefully you guys don't have to go through the same thing I did. Anyway, so yeah, so you want to grab a deck of cards, preferably a newer deck of cards. Um, makes it easier to fan. Now it doesn't have to be completely new, but you just don't want a deck that's clumped up. And what I mean by this is like, if you take the deck and you move it like this, if it should be able to, I don't know how to describe that motion, it should be able to, you know, move around like that. As opposed to this, so you see this deck, when I do the same thing, you see like the whole top it is like in a packet, it's, it's not in horrible condition, but if you're just starting off um, and you're going slower, this thumb fan would look something more like that. But then as you get better, you can speed it up and still get something decent out of it. Anyway, so enough about that. Just grab your deck of cards, right? And the position you're gonna wanna start in is take your left hand, again, assuming you're right-handed, um, if you're left-handed, just flip it around. But take your left hand and grab the deck like this. But the main pressure is going to be between, going to be between uh, your thumb and either your index or your middle finger. I fan around my index finger, so hold it like this and kind of line up your fingers like this against the edge, and just let the cards rest on your knuckle here. Ooh, uh, <laughs> let your cards rest on your knuckle here, right? But don't like squeeze it, just rest them on your knuckle. Then bend your thumb, so there should be one point here and one point on your index finger here, right? Or it could be uh, like this or like this, it's up to you. Uh, figure out what feels comfortable for you and hold the deck like this. Now your thumb, the reason it's called a thumb fan is because your thumb is going to co contact the deck here and it's going to make this sort of motion as you come around. Slowly with, um, with practically any deck of cards that's not brand new, it'll look pretty bad. But if you speed it up, your thumb will slowly riffle up, will slowly riffle up the side of the deck and then you'll get this sort of fan. So it's kind of hard to do in slow motion, but take the deck again in, in this sort of grip and keeping in mind most of the pressures between this and this, right? Just pinch it and then you use your thumb and riffle up the side. So it should be that sort of motion. You go from here and you're going up and you go to the top back down. And the key to this is, is having enough speed and enough pressure that it creates a decent fan like that. Again, this fan's not the best. Uh, if, you, if your cards are kind of clumping a bit, I recommend you know giving them a quick shuffle and maybe springing the cards out just so there's a good gap between the cards. But eventually, uh, what should happen is you should get a sense for the way your thumb should, you know, glide up the side of the deck and make a fan. Yeah, so the thumb fan's a little bit of a knacky move if you think about it, but it's really not that hard. Um, I just recommend starting off with a newer deck of cards, uh, e even if they're just barely broken in. Starting with a deck of cards like that, you'll, you know, gain confidence, gain a sense of how the cards uh, should feel. And then uh, once you get that type of fan down, then you can start fanning cards that have, you know, already clumped up. So that's that. Hope my explanation was uh, helpful to some degree. It's one of those things that's 
it's not like a packet cut. It's just sort of hard, hard to explain the way it feels. But I'm sure you guys will get it after a while. If you're new, uh, feel free to subscribe and stay updated with content. Um, should be some fun stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.